Hi guys, my name is MJ. Welcome to the Two Toys channel. Okay, new Mini GT uh, in front of me. Six new releases. This one kind of caught me by surprise a little bit uh, because this weekend is actually the Malaysia Dakar Expo, um, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be quite a massive, a big event in Malaysia. So I kind of assume that we're gonna focus on that this week. But yeah, decided to uh, yeah they decided to drop us one more round of our new arrivals. So two Lamborghinis. Okay, the Liberty Walk uh, Silhouette Works uh, Aventado GT Evo in baby blue Third casting This one I believe is the second casting Lamborghini Huracan GT3 Evo Number 39 The IMSA Road America's second place Right, number uh, 499 uh, Number 506 will be the Lamborghini Aventado SVJ Roadster Rosso Festo, And then the Devo Bugatti Devo in red Number 503 well into number 500 will be this is this uh 525 so yeah my box got damaged so i'm gonna i'm gonna open this one up and this one will be a a long delay finally it's out okay this is number 394 you can see the numbers right the gap is quite big uh so this will be B uh, bmw m4 gd3 number 24 imsa daytona 24 hours okay but uh however before i get to all these uh, uh models right I want to quickly show you uh hang on let me unlock my other phone so uh malaysia Dakas expo that i'll talk to you about right so head over to collectors cube page okay uh what i have helped them do is because uh what i realized is there has been quite a lot of uh, questions of what is gonna what is going on um what is the event about and we do have people who still don't know about the event so quick shout out okay a quick uh info right um, what I did with uh, Cube is I actually did up a list of what to look out for. All right, so head over to their Facebook. Uh, I can only do this through Facebook. Uh, I'm trying to maintain their Instagram as well, but uh, because there's a lot of text. Okay, so they do have their own page, but uh, no summary. So I thought that um, yeah, the miss the, the missing link would be at the summary. So uh, Malaysia Dakar Expo next week. Uh, sorry, not next week. This weekend, twentieth uh, and twenty first May. Okay. Tropicana Gardens Mall Convention Center, which is on the top floor, okay, it's located on the top floor. Uh, event is actually 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Uh, early entry bundle is already available up for sale. You have to check out their own page, okay. And then at the event, there is uh, two main supporting events. One of it is Ministry of Miniatures, powered by Cube. So I will be in this section uh, throughout the weekend, okay, uh, throughout Saturday and Sunday. So here we go. Just a quick, just a quick show of you. So this list will be updated uh off and on okay so this exactly right now it's not uh it's not exactly full uh, uh fully updated uh at the time of recording okay when by the time you watch this video it's it's probably some sort of updates to it already so there's a dinner which is already sold out these are some of the things uh if you're going to the dinner you can check this out as well there are some of the bid items that that is available um there is the R34 Black will be available for sale there as well uh, 200 units in fact which was already announced and then you scroll down a little bit lower down with Malaysia Dakas Expo Guide okay this is an unofficial guide alright uh, mini GT event models okay you can pre uh, the pre sale okay pre event bundle sale I understand that this one is already uh, receiving overwhelming um, response I'm not sure if it's already sold out uh, there's a Eno Eno cars pop race pop race cars D model. There's actually one. There's not on, on this list right now, which is the green Porsche. That is actually very very nice. Dream customs. We know that there's a Mad masterpiece collectibles. There's this as well. And uh, what else? Um, uh, yeah. Event brands. Check out their Instagram. Quite a lot of brands. Mini GT pop race. Uh, to name a few. And then I, I remember BM Creation is coming. Tiny. Uh, era as well so there's so many brands so many things to look out for alright so go Collectors Cube Facebook page okay Facebook page go 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 okay uh, back to the main um, thing on this video would be the uh, Mini GT Arrivals 6 okay oh uh, so the the event car okay the event car for the Malaysia Dakar Expo would be would be this guy, ta-da, in black with uh, red lining and red rims, okay? So that will be the event car. Since we're talking about it, right, we should open this one on first, right? Okay, this will be the event car, and then, uh, which is available for 
monthly event sale at the time of recording and then the dinner version right will be in gold okay in black gold with uh i think it's gold rims as well so something to look out for all right this is actually a, a very nice casting uh, this baby blue would be the third casting so the white has out is has came out my recent video has covered the matte black and now we have the baby blue so look at that nice nice casting uh here are there any new castings here today no no new castings this time around okay so um giving you guys a heads, heads up basically right now um mini gt arrivals per month right it's about 14 uh releases so divide by four we're gonna go we're, we're looking at uh, divide by four weeks a month right we're looking at how many uh, uh five no uh yeah five four to four yeah about four per week four cars per week that's including kaido house okay that's including kaido house so this blue i believe that this is the one that uh, appeared in sema the sema car show in us i can't recall which year okay uh i did a little bit of background story when i did the fuel me version the resin version okay very nice 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 casting so for its price this is superb very nice okay so this will be number 494 um i was opening up this guy right let's let's look at him let's look at it okay here we go number 394 i think this one is the uh the, the one that caught a lot of people by surprise actually um i think during pre-order stage not many people actually pay attention to it the m4 gd3 and now when it's out <laughs> especially when the presentation version was out when the presentation version was out then we start seeing you know people more and more people looking for the st racing version the purple one which i featured twice already in my videos so um yeah uh luckily i have already decided at the start that i will be collecting this casting so yeah very nice so this one has the fog lamp okay they didn't cover it nice very nice very nice casting actually oh very nice very nice the printing um the air vents here that's very nice the motu logo gt uh gt was that gtd pro m m motorsport what logo is it down there i can't see it without with my bare eyes there's a bmw logo down there the michelin logo the michelin guy as well nice global what yeah i can't see it with my black eyes i need to see it through the, the camera global medical response interesting interesting okay so this was uh raised uh in um 2022 last year 24 hours nice not sure what result you get though okay if you do know let me know in the comment section below okay all right so i'm doing i'm doing speed rounds right now uh because there's so many arrivals every other week so yeah i'm doing speed round um where we just go straight to to uh unboxing it and showing it to you guys uh without me doing my usual um what i hope to be able to do one day will be if i can go back to um i think I'll, i think the the rest of my videos i will still try to do so to say the the homework in air quotes the homework okay to tell you the backstory about the car um i do hope to do that but uh, for mini gt for now um since we are getting them early so i will try to do a review for you guys right so that you guys can decide um whether you want to purchase it or not okay so Lamborghini hurricane gd3 evo is number 39 uh second place uh race last year as well road america okay do i have the other one out in the open no i don't have oh i kept it already sorry i don't have the other one out in the open that one is the presentation version that is actually another very nice casting okay a very nice livery sorry not not, not to say a nice casting a very nice livery but uh this one is really nice as well gray and that neon green neon green side mirrors the carnot 
is in neon green as well the lips is in green this is actually very nice very froggy poisonous frog kind of theme to it oh look at that very aggressive so i think it's really very nice to keep all these uh, gt3 cars nice nice mini gt is really pressing the right buttons man okay must have another must have interior wise everything is in black so i can't really see much but there is definitely a roll cage in there okay all right all right there should be a roll cage in this one as well yep there is a roll cage in this one as well okay that's the lumbo number 499 and then um number four yeah 494 we have done 499 uh, we'll follow i'll try to follow by number devo so we have seen the i'm going to call it presentation the other one the this is actually a, the second casting oh where's my pen knife on. yeah the other one is called presentation so this would be a second color i don't recall uh any other pre-orders for for this devo though yeah i i can't recall is there is there pre-order for the other colors so this one is another one because time micro has done it before already and they have done so many colors actually um that was actually a collab with uh, burago and i've done a video on that okay so i think that kind of kind of dialed down the hype for these because this devo has certainly you know uh, quite a story to it um I'll, i will link I will link up my previous video that that I told a story about 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 a Devo. Okay, second color. All right. Um, first thing I want to check out would be the back, how they did the tail lights because Time Micro did an okay job uh, with the tail lights. Well, Mini GT is doing okay as well given the price point. So these right on the real car is actually individual LED, um, individual 3D printed plates. I think um yeah so it's pretty crazy on the on the real car okay nice very nice very nice build okay bugatti logo up in the middle very nice interior everything is black again carbon fiber effect here and here very nice very nice look at the back so many details going on the quad pipes in the middle the red color paint that is actually very nice so what i understand there's only one in the world okay there's only one devo in the world um and it's not in this color okay but but you know being able to imagine not in, in, no sorry not not being able to imagine being able to see it physically in red it's quite cool as well okay all right that's the devo that's number 503 then 506 roadster the svj roadster uh if i recall correctly this would be the third color no not i don't think it's just the third um i know there's the white i know there's a gold and there's a gray so i think this is the fourth they're in okay hey three lumbos not two lumbos three lumbos this time around Wow, man, Mini GT is on fire. Pumping out all the lumbos. Okay, here we go. SVJ, I, again, this is another model where I don't recall if there's any other remaining pre-orders that's not out yet. Okay, the red is... um, Yeah, it's quite close to the Devo red metallic. Okay. On the box, definitely printed it does look different so it's much more metallic uh in person i do quite like that red gold combination uh well it's not really gold it's more copper okay so <clears throat> something about the interior of the uh, the paganis right that mini gt does is really makes the interior all stand out however it did, uh, they didn't do it on the lamborghini it's just uh, all black so yeah okay all right so interior wise not bad at all there's some sort of details on the center console uh there is some proper shape sculpt sculpted uh um steering wheels 
cheaper than just being a button. Okay, the windscreen is that a proper frame or is this colored? I think, yeah, it's a, f it's it's colored. It's not a frame actually. It's a single piece. Um, printed frame is printed. Okay, it's not exactly a frame, but still quite nice, quite nice. Rather than leaving it blank. Okay, soft side mirror. Okay, you can see quite a lot of details going on on the side. It's nice. The paint job in there, and that's that's done very nicely as well. Very nice casting. Look at the headlamps. Very nice. Oh, this angle. Yeah, this angle is very nice. Cool. All right. Go to the back. The SV, the SVJ logo on the back fender. Nice. Nice. Center tail lights. The Lamborghini logo in the middle. Nice. Nice. Okay. So that will be the fifth Lambo. <laughs> sorry, fifth uh, box that I've opened. Last but not least, number five to five. Now oh, this this is actually another very nice casting. I am collecting the this uh, casting as well. Okay, the Turbo S. Oh, in the meantime, help me to hit the like button. Okay, guys, that will help help me out with the uh, YouTube algorithms. And I do have a couple of extras of these. They're available through Collectors Cube. Uh, do look them up. They have their own website. They do ship international. Cocube.com. Uh, their main platform is their Facebook, like I've shown you right at the start of the video. Uh, they're on Instagram and on TikTok as well. So do give them a follow. And uh, oh, I will be, I will be, I'll try to switch on live uh, through Collector's Cube TikTok uh, over the weekend. I will try my best to do, to do that because um, there is actually quite a lot of program going on. Uh, even in the, uh, just now when I scroll, when I show you, right, that is the main event okay so what i've scrolled scrolled and show you this is actually the main event there's actually one more pinned post okay so there's one more pinned post featured post okay so just now i show you is this the other one would be this huh okay ministry or miniatures uh we have about what nine or ten or i think it's about 12 supporting brands so all these are all miniature uh miniature brands mainly miniature brands so again, there will be some sort of uh, there will be a couple of programs going on for cube members, uh, collectors cube members, right? They do have their polo tee, they do have their cube bag. So yeah, bring, okay, bring and wear your cube polo tee. You will be able to receive a random giveaway, all right? Uh, limited to one per day lah, one redemption per day. There will be photo contests, real con reels contests, and also TikTok contests and lucky draws as well. So make sure you head over to uh, Ministry of Miniatures. Cast Factor is, is coming, DX Figure, East 8 Man, EXT Hobby, Legit Miniatures, Lou Die Cast, Miniature Works, um, Monster Miniature, OXM, Scale Customs Chaos, Samal, Veloc 64, and Yansai Miniatures. Now, I would say what, 80%, 90% of these brands, all of them is going to bring out um, exclusive releases. Uh, the one I can tell you off the top of my head would be Monster Miniature. Uh, they do have quite a few... Um, even exclusive releases uh, this weekend. So make sure, make sure you drop by, okay? 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Come early, come early. All right, come early, do come early. Cool, all right, two days, 20th, 21st. Uh, look for Collector's Cube Facebook. Unofficial guide is on their page, Facebook page. Go, 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 go and see, all right? So last mini GT for this video. Now, I'm not exactly a fan of this green. Hmm, a little bit too flat. I would prefer it uh, metallic. So strangely enough, through the camera, right, there is some sort of bluish shade to it. I can assure you, no. <laughs> With my eyes, I don't see any blue at all. It's all in green. Okay, very flat green. Yeah, I would kind of prefer, um, is it really Python green? Uh, maybe it is, but I uh, kind of, um, since it's a Turbo S, I kind of prefer it if it's uh, metallic. But then again, it's my personal preference. Okay, let me know what you think about this color. All right, let me know what you think. Me, I, I would prefer it a little bit more metallic. Again, this, w this is actually a very nice casting. You check out the rims. They're really very fine. Okay, very nice. Rolls very nicely as well. Headlamps done very nicely. Porsche logo up front. Nicely done. 
Okay, check out the back. Oh, look at that. Very nice angle. Right. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. So let me know. Let me know what you think about this particular casting. I think the rest is actually quite okay. It's actually quite nice. I, the BMW is definitely um, my top favorite in this list. And these ones here, number one would be the M4 GD3. Number two would be the Lambo. Number three, I would say the Baby Blue. Cool. What, what, what would be yours? Okay, let me know. Uh, right. I think I've covered what I want to cover. Uh, yes, I do owe you guys one um, Yaris video. I'll try to get it out uh, within this week. I'll try my best because it's going to be a crazy week for, for me uh, at Virtu Toys and also at Collector's Cube. Um, I'll try my best to do it. Uh, but I know you guys would definitely want me to cover the event. Um, I'll try my best to get you guys up to speed with the event cars and, uh, and the Kaido House. Uh, event exclusive models and the dinner model as well as soon as I can cool uh, in the meantime do look out for uh, because I'm doing snippets updates I will be posting them for collectors keep on their IG Facebook and TikTok as well so do follow them do follow them okay all right so that's it for this time around thank you so much for watching if you do drop by to MDX this weekend come and say hi okay make sure you come and say hi cool that's it for this time around thank you so much for watching guys take care bye